Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to do chrome nails. As you can see, my nails have nothing on at the moment. Sorry for my very bare face today, but um, it is a Monday bank holiday. I really don't feel like putting on anything except for like a bit of clippy. So, I'll show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to be using Will's Nail Polish. I will be using this shade. Uh, where is it? There we go. This blue. And a top base coat by collection. And my... Miro Fits, there we go. I have used this previously. So this is what I need, that's all I need. Uh, I've got a bit of foil for my nails, um, you know, if they're like dry and brittle. So let's get started. So I'm applying the base coat right near, just like that. And just like that. Just make sure you file your nails. Um, Prior. I did, but I just didn't want to waste time shooting a video and filing at the same time. Okay. And we go on to the next step once it's have dried. So guys, we have done at the base, so you just gotta wait five, ten minutes, depending how long it takes for all these to dry up. So yeah. I like to do this because I always think that it makes them dry quicker, but if you've got a nail dryer, use that. I am just one of those cheap people. I don't like to invest on uh, nail nail stuff. Well, except for nail polish, obviously, and other things. I make your nails look pretty. But yeah, so you wait till this dries up. Once it's dried up, I will be using this gorgeous pink nail varnish, and it's by Wills. I already said, but sometimes I have to repeat. You know, it's right here. Only because I found a good place place my camera so I'm like so excited I'm like yes we got a good place to place the camera ignore the background because it's a bit messy <laughs> yeah so um can you see how dry my plant is over there yeah so guys I'm gonna go and I'm gonna wait for these to dry up and I'll be back okay guys so for this stage I recommend you have wet wipes at hand because you're gonna need this it gets really messy and because obviously you can't wash your hands um, and once you've put on the powdery stuff you need to put on the top coat straight after okay I love nails guys I love nails I don't know why I didn't become a beautician it's not something I like to do on other people let's be very clear about this I like to do it on myself like guys I braid my own hair and I it's a bit of a mess because I've had it for a couple of weeks now I can't take it out because I'm waiting for a casting thing and if they like this hair then I'll keep it if they don't then I'll lose it basically it's a bit long but anyways so next stage is a powdery effect bit everyone loves that part so like I said it's very messy make sure you got like paper towel or whatever just to like um, cover the surfaces because it's going to get very messy and I've got a bit of um, wet, wet wipes and I'll show you why so I'm going to get I don't know how I'm going to be able to show you guys this part because this is what you need and this is what you need to put on there. So that's stage one. Okay guys, I can't really move or tape my nails but next stage is the clear nail polish or the top coat to finish off the look. There we go. Can you see that? And this goes on top. So guys, this is a rose gold. I'm going to finish this off and I will show you guys once it's completely done. So this is the difference. Yeah, can you see? Difference. And I'll finish it off and I'll show you when it's all done. So I'm using the powder and the clear nail polish now. Okay guys, so now I have done two hands and this is what it looks like. I'm just going to have to wait for it to dry up and as you can see I have a bit of the glitz on my hands there we go and now you just got to wait for it to dry up and then you wash your hands I really like this color it's a gold rose I'm gonna do metallics like silver but I didn't like silver because it's too light obvious but there we go the waiting part for me is like the hardest part because I just want to like get on with things but I can't, I just have to wait for it to dry. So if you do have drying equipment for your nails, definitely use that. <sighs> Here we go, countdown. Ding, 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 ding. 
but I do like it. It's really, really pretty. Sorry for the light coming from behind. I can't do anything about that, but yeah, guys, this is how messy it is. So messy. So always make sure you go really like you put something to cover up your white surfaces. My bedding is white as well. So imagine if I had this on my clothes and then it ended up on my bedding everywhere. It's just messy. Yeah, so I'm just going to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my nail video. If you want more videos like this, let me know. Uh, if you want something else, let me know. Uh, leave a comment below and do not forget to subscribe. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for the new subscribers. I will be doing different content. It's not always going to be about nails and beauty. But for those who like nails and beauty, leave a comment and I'll do more of these. Okay, thank you. Bye.